Hey y'all, what's up? It's your one and only. So I didn't really make an intro for this, but this was my intro. So what's up y'all? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And come shopping with me for college. Yup. Yeah, I'm the camera for today. What's up with it? Just spent a bag on me and my brother. Get them right, right. Tight, tight. All right. Gonna go and spend smart and look for our dog or choker. Cause she bad. Look at the feet. Am I dead? Oh, it did. Oh, that one can't move. Oh, yeah. But I named mommy a piss mark today, huh? What's that show? Huh? Where are you showing? I was showing the fish. What? Like How tough it look? It look tough on her coat. Get off. Oh. Went to the Nike outlet and I got me two sports bras and some sweatpants. <laughs> and some running shoes. Basically, the majority of clothes I need, I already have clothes to take with me to Seattle. Y'all didn't know I'm going to Seattle. So yeah, I'll explain that later, but for now, I'm taking y'all shopping with me, of course. So that's what we're doing. But yeah, I'll catch y'all later. What is up, y'all? So I am back home. As y'all can see, I'm in my room. So y'all, I would give y'all a haul, but I don't have all my stuff that I meant to get. I just kind of went like necessity shopping as far as clothes and like toiletries, stuff of that nature so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to start looking through all of my clothes packing my clothes away packing my shoes away just the big stuff that i have to pack up i'm gonna pack that stuff up tonight so it's currently about to be 12 o'clock and i don't know why i'm deciding to start 12 o'clock at night but i honestly just got home around 10 so i'm gonna time lapse this because this is gonna take forever i'm not trying to be doing all that i'm gonna turn on some raw wave and we're gonna vibe and we're gonna pack I look, I look super crazy. It's late at night, but I finished the bag. So these are all of my clothes that hang up in my closet. So I have pants, hoodies, shirts, dress pants, and a few dresses. I didn't take everything. I still have some clothes over here that I did not take. I still have all these clothes I didn't take. And so y'all almost start the pack, but we're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it right and tight. I see you in the mirror, but yeah, we're gonna get this messy room together <laughs> okay so let's keep it going let's keep it running just had to pop in for a second let y'all know what's going on but let's pack up my shoes and let's pack up my photo clothes and we're gonna get right into it all right all right Okay, y'all, so downside, one of my coat hangers broke, and I'm not very happy about that. But I found this little package. This is actually a table. This is actually a cover to like a little foldable table, but we don't even use this cover for the foldable table. So I'm gonna use this for my coat hangers, and it just happened to fall out of another bag. So I was like, let me go ahead and use that. So my shoes could fit to a backpack and a whole bag, so that was my shoes. And the only shoes that I didn't pack up was my Crocs. I just got these Crocs today, y'all. These are like the best Crocs Crocs have ever made. Okay? That's just my opinion. But I also have these gray Crocs as well. But it's the only thing that couldn't fit, which is my house shoes. So, you know, I'm, I'm cool about that. But everything else pretty much fits. Next, 
we gotta move on to my foldable clothes, which is my pajamas, my loungewear, my workout clothes. And yeah, that's pretty much that. So I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna get that together. And y'all, once again, y'all gonna see the whole process. Like, you're gonna see the whole thing. So don't worry, you're not missing a bit. But for those who are kind of like, I don't know if I explained this sooner in the video, which I probably didn't, but I am moving out of state for college. I got recruited to play volleyball in Seattle. So I'm going to be moving from Texas to Seattle. For the first time in my life, I'm gonna be moving away far <laughs> and living out of state for the first time in my life. So this definitely is gonna be a journey and I just hope to take you guys with me, you know? So yeah, don't mind how it look once again, you know, we're gonna get this together tomorrow, which is gonna be part two of this vlog, but yeah this is part one pack with me okay to go out of state to seattle but um yeah that's why i have so much stuff and also i'm not staying on an on-campus dorm i'm staying in an off-campus apartment so with a teammate so that's why i have so many clothes that's why i have and I, i'm staying in there for 12 months so hence why i have i'm bringing all my shoes and all most all my clothes not all, all my clothes but mostly all my clothes so yeah let's continue to pack though and not waste time let me not yap too much and let's finish packing y'all we got lots to do still the next day what is up y'all so i am back and y'all today was a very busy day it's about a few hours after i got my hair done it's currently 3 a.m um i still have to wet my hair and put some mousse on it but for the most part it's done and it's very cute y'all thank you to my mom thank you to my mom and thank you to my god sister thank you to my god sister because they both got me right like we did my hair in about i would say an hour and a half minus the parting parting took at least two hours but as far as the putting the hair in maybe an hour and a half not gonna lie but um yeah y'all i bought some things from the store i wasn't gonna give y'all a haul tonight but i am super tired so i'm gonna do that tomorrow and then i'll probably am going to end this vlog i hope this vlog wasn't too jumpy or nothing like that but this is me prepping slash packing for college so i'll try to take y'all along with me as much as possible but i will give y'all a haul in this video that's gonna be tomorrow though for sure but i'm gonna go ahead and dip my hair in some water real quick and then mousse it down and then i'm gonna go to sleep because i have to wake up at like 5 a.m not very happy about that let me go ahead and do this though so i can go to sleep and i'm gonna catch y'all I'm 
my trust in you so hair is all done my stuff is like packed and stuff like that like i said i'll give y'all the haul tomorrow i am tired um hair is done like give it what's supposed to be gave okay but i'm gonna go to sleep and i'll catch y'all sometime tomorrow for the haul but good night wrap this hair up and go to sleep so good night y'all see y'all tomorrow Good morning, girl. I'm in the DPS office getting me an ID, so. Because I can't call nowhere and travel nowhere without an ID. So. What is up, y'all? I'm back at home. I'm currently in the kitchen because I'm about to cut my dad up a watermelon. The lighting is. Okay, there you go. So I'm about to cut my dad up his watermelon and eat real quick y'all i've been at the dps office all morning with my mom literally woke up at five o'clock been at the dps all morning just got back home it's currently 8 50 so i'm about to eat and do what i gotta do just updating y'all oh yeah let me show y'all my um what is it called oh snap well i'm gonna show y'all my ID later, but I got my ID, all of that. Y'all, I did not have my ID, and I was not finna go all the way to Washington, Seattle, without an ID. So, and I have to get other important stuff as well. So, everything's starting to come together, slowly but surely. But I just thank y'all for rocking with me if you watched, <laughs> if you made it this far throughout the video. But after I get done coming up to Watermelon, then I'm going to give y'all that haul that I promised y'all all freaking video. So, yeah. But let's cut this watermelon though. I'm, I'll show you how to cut up watermelon because some people surprisingly don't know how to cut it up. I don't either, but I just go with the flow and cut as I go. Ooh, bars. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, let me see if I can make the lighting better without having to turn on lights. So let me do that real quick. Okay, that's a little bit better. We have like a lot of windows in our house, and so I'm trying to like utilize the windows and not waste energy and money on lights. But here's the watermelon, y'all. Looking real nice. Looking real nice. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this up. I'm gonna show y'all how to cut a watermelon. So if you didn't know how to cut a watermelon, we are gonna learn today, okay? Now you got this big old knife that you're gonna use. And let's get into it. Okay, y'all, now I have y'all in a good little area of space. Hopefully y'all can see. Y'all should be able to see them. But let's go ahead and cut it. So let's picture this whole watermelon is a whole watermelon, right? Now it's half. So then you're gonna go ahead and cut it down to half again. You never wanna cut your watermelons this way. Like that's very weird, don't do that. So let's go ahead and cut this. Boom, now you got two slices of the watermelon. Now let's set one to the side and focus on one. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the watermelon this way and you're gonna slice and slice. So we're gonna do that for the rest. And then you're gonna turn it to the side and you do the same thing. You can make it however skinny or thick you want it. But yeah. All right, part, oh, that's what it is. Make sure you don't get the white part in it because that's the non-sweet part. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to be eating the white part of the watermelon, but yeah. You flip it, 
shit fall out like that. Voila. And I, I don't know. I just figured this way is the fastest and easy way. There honestly is no right way to cut up a watermelon. It's just however you do it. Alright, now, and basically just do that for the rest of the watermelon. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this up. And yeah. My food just came out the ooh crooked. Don't do that. Okay, so my food just came out the microwave, and y'all, we got some good old pasta, Cajun shrimp and sausage pasta. So freaking good. Finna eat this, smash this, and then I'm gonna let my phone charge for a little bit more, and then I'm gonna give y'all a haul and show y'all my ID picture. Yeah, let me go ahead and eat. I'm starving. Haven't drunk any water or nothing since I woke up. So let me take care of myself. Charge this phone and then we're gonna get right back to the video. Okay, what is up, y'all? Let me shut y'all down real quick. Okay, so I'm on my bed. I've been doing a lot of research. I've talked to my roommate today about apartment situations and living situations and things of that nature. I look crazy, but I've been talking to her majority of the day and then I have, I just signed my LOI. If y'all don't know what that means, um, as far as being a student athlete, it just means that it's an agreement that you're going to play uh, whatever sports you're going to play at your college. So I just signed y'all to my college and I'm happy and I'm excited and I'm ready, you know? So yeah, that's the update. Not my temporary one because I just took the picture today, did all of that. So they'll send it to me, my real card in like two weeks or whatever, but they're gonna have to ship that to me in Washington. So yeah, but here's my ID, cute, I know. Anyways, I'm playing y'all. But uh, yeah, that's what I've just been doing, just figuring out my housing situation and things of that nature, making decisions, making big moves, you know. Um, if y'all don't know, I'm looking at a computer right here. So yeah, but let me show y'all what I got from the stores this past week. But let me show y'all what I got real quick. Okay? Okay. Hey y'all, so what's up? I fixed the lighting a little bit more. So yeah. So the first thing I got was this frame. But I wanted this frame to have like a memory collage of pictures of my family so that I can take it with me to Washington and I can always remember them. You know, when I think of them or anything of that nature, I can have them on my frame. I got two firm control pillows from the same place from Ross. Still kind of soft, it's not too firm, but it's firm enough for the neck support. You know, gotta have some neck support. But I sound so old. Anyways, next thing I had got was this wallet. Also bought me some pepper spray, you know, for safety purposes. This tank, because I needed some more workout clothes. I got this tank and it is, it was $10 and it's also from Ross. I got this Nike bra in the forest green color because a my school is forest green and gold those are my school colors so yeah also got some body wash from the native um this scent this scent is sweet peach and nectar it smells immaculate and some extra toothpaste and mouthwash this is concentrated mouthwash by the way already is monday it is exactly two days if I'm counting today, it's two days before I have to leave and move away from my home and go to Seattle, Washington, y'all. This is crazy. Like, extra crazy. Y'all, I wish I could get my nails done, but I can't. I'm gonna have to wait till after volleyball season because, or just paint them or something. I might paint them. I don't know. We're gonna do something cute with the nails, but I can't have nails, y'all, because I'm an athlete. Like, what is this? But we'll be fine. As long as the hair done, that's all that matters to me anyway. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the end of the video. Um, part two coming soon. I gotta hurry up and edit this video and get it to y'all so that I can hurry up and start recording for the next vlog. So yeah, y'all, continue to watch and stay tuned for me preparing for my freshman year of college. 
so yeah don't forget to like comment down below other video suggestions because y'all know i'm gonna do them like y'all know i'm gonna do them and subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you're coming back what's up but y'all that's pretty much it i'm gonna catch y'all literally in next week's vlog so i'll see y'all then it's the one and only out